all you need is a phone, all you need is an internet connection, and you can get your message out there. And that's what I try to do with, with my channel. I try to um, bring on smaller channels or try to uh, introduce discussions or have uh, chats with uh, interesting individuals. So I, I've always had a passion for uh, British politics. Uh, in Ireland, I always felt the politics was quite a little bit boring. Uh, we had Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, and things never really changed. But uh, when I was growing up as a child, I was fascinated by British politics because you had the Labour Party on one side and the Conservatives on the other, and they were real polarising, as they were really polarising. So, uh, going back to your channel as well, it's exploded over the last year especially. You've got over 100,000 subscribers now and built a really, really strong community. What do you think is down to the main success of that? Why do you think it's, it's, it's done so well? So, when I started the channel a uh, number of years ago, uh, following on from that, we set up a, a community. It was a Discord channel. And what I discovered within that Discord channel is there's a great community uh, where people are free to express themselves. And we don't just talk about Brexit, but we also talk about other issues within politics. And it's uh, and I've discovered it's very diversive. It's very open, this, uh, this community. And I've received a lot of responses from people, how they said that the channel uh, is something very positive for them. It's something that allows them to express themselves. And there isn't a there isn't a place within the channel and the community for, you know, racism or sexism or, or, or gender issues in, in a negative way, um, in a negative sense. And it's much more open than uh, other parts of the internet. And many people have commented about how that's a wonderful thing. In the past, if you wanted to start your own radio station or TV station, you, you were talking about at least tens or hundreds or millions of pounds to get something on, on the road. Uh, you needed a team of people. And now, you know, somebody with a camera, a camera phone, a smartphone, they can make a video themselves. And if the message is good, it will reach millions of people around the world or around the country. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's very important that there are um, groups like yourself, organizations like yourself, who provide um, a type of content that ordinary people can't, don't have access to. So, for example, I don't have the ability to go uh, to meet with farmers or the Port Authority or, or the, the Port of Dover, for example. So it's very important that there are journalists like yourself who, uh, who take a different approach to the YouTubers, but also a different approach to the mainstream media. But when it comes to uh, what YouTube ha can do, it allows everyone to have a voice. Um, it all you need is a phone, all you need is an internet connection, and you can get your message out there. It is becoming a bit more difficult because of the algorithm, so the, the system is working a little bit towards the more mainstream parties, or, sorry, mainstream outlets. Um, but it, it is, uh, I think it's still quite, uh, it's quite open for most people. What we can do is work together. So, for example, I try to collaborate with other YouTubers. Um, I'm very, very fortunate that I have so many subscribers, so I try to help out smaller channels as well. Uh, and I think if we work together, there's a way for us to, you know, to get a different perspective out there as well. Um, and I think it's important for those who have large channels to remember, you know, we, didn't, we weren't always so lucky, uh, we weren't always so fortunate, and we should help out each other. And that's what I try to do with, with my channel. I try to um, bring on smaller channels or try to uh, introduce discussions or have uh, chats with uh, interesting individuals. Um, because it's uh, something also important for me is to be challenged. So I try to invite on Brexiteers. I, I'm saying now if any Brexiteers want to, to speak with me, just to have a chat like we're having today. But just to, uh, just to get an, a better idea for me why people voted this way, um, what were they expecting? Are there any benefits? Because, and I, I'm not a sycophant for the EU. I, the EU has a lot of problems that need to be resolved. Uh, and I think it's important that we sit down, we have a discussion, we have a chat about these things. Um, and th that's the way forward.